what is up everybody welcome to another daily vape tv live stream where everything's made up and the opinions don't matter just kidding uh <clears throat> yeah hi everyone everybody everyone all of you guys jump in chat type something out i'm gonna be doing shout outs shortly a uh, lot to talk about today uh, lots of updates. Uh, I do want to just get a lot of stuff out of the way before we talk about the Titan series mesh deck that I've got right here. Um, so, first and foremost, yes, I fixed my internet. Uh, the problem was, we kind of diagnosed it, problem was not speed, it was the strength of Wi-Fi. Now, uh, it's not my house that I live in. Hard wiring isn't an option. So kind of went with a lot of people's suggestions of the uh, Ethernet power line adapters. And so far it's doing pretty good. I have been streaming and things have been going fairly smoothly. I can connect on Zoom no problem and I don't drop the connection. So that's really good. It cost me a hundred bucks, but everything's sorted out now and I should be good to go for streams now with that being said i will be probably adding another stream like i mentioned last time if i can get everything sorted out i said i was going to do another stream and that probably is going to happen on mondays at some point i don't have a, a for sure schedule yet but i'm thinking sometime early afternoon on a monday that way it's before vaping with the omis and all that stuff um, so we're, that's going to be more of a topical discussion, news advocacy updates with me kind of thing and other random stuff, uh, kind of general vape chat more or less. And there's probably going to be uh, a little product review in there from time to time when, when it calls for it, because as of right now, my queue is starting to stack up and I'm still getting stuff in. So yes, I do have to get more videos done per week uh, so I can bang out new products. So I know I said last time that I would be doing the Berserker 2 today, but I still haven't gone through my rigorous testing with it. So I will be holding that off until probably next week. I don't really know yet, um, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on with that very soon. I also have a few other little pod mods to talk about as well, which we'll be going over. And uh, this little guy here, the Vapresso Gen Nano, which I've been digging. Um, other things are the patrons. Big thank you and shout out to all my lovely patrons. You guys have been with me for a very long time and I do appreciate all your support. Uh, I will be kind of retooling my Patreon. Uh, I have a huge auction going on right now, open to all patrons. Uh, patronage for myself starts at a buck a month. I'm pretty sure everyone can afford a buck a month, but uh, we're doing a huge auction. I'm not looking for profit on this whatsoever, so any money over shipping cost is going to a charity of your choosing. Probably gonna be Casa at this point because let's face it, they need some funding. They put out an email blast that said they were looking to get funded. And uh, from what I've heard, it's going pretty well so far, but every little bit counts. So if you guys have a buck or two, extra this month please consider going and donating to casa because they do work very hard for us and they are a non-profit and they don't have uh, they i think they have like one or two people on payroll everyone else is volunteered so uh other things like i said retooling patreon a little bit probably gonna only do a couple of tiers rather than have like you know the multiple tier system for giveaways and stuff like that I really kind of just want to leave it open. It's going to be $1 to start and giveaway tiers are going to start at five bucks uh, or, or any giveaways are five bucks, basically. And that's pretty much it. Uh, anything on top of that that you guys want to do for Patreon, it is completely up to you. Patreon, it's basically the, the lowest set is like five bucks and then you can donate however much. If you've got six bucks, then you can donate six bucks if you want, but you don't have to. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of all my higher tiers. Just going to go $1 and $5 tiers only. It's basically the regular 
One dollar tier is like you get access to live streams and any other stuff that I randomly do on there. And five dollars gets you access to any giveaways that I do. Um, uh, I was going to say that I, I really do have to get out some more new merch, some new t-shirts. Now, granted, these are awesome. These guys right here, these shirts are pretty awesome. They're extremely comfortable and they, they are really nice. They're really nice shirts. However, I feel the need, my creative juices are starting to flow a little bit and I really want to get some more merch out there. Um, so that's another thing with Patreon is patrons are going to have, uh, the first grab at merch, probably going to have a couple weeks or a month exclusive to just patrons before I open it up to anyone else. Uh, I'm going to be adding a few goals to my Patreon. I had them a while back, uh, but basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting myself some goals because... I need an objective to shoot for. You know, that's part of my issue right now is that I'm not really not really engaging with myself, I guess you could say. Like I'm not challenging myself. I'm not really like pushing myself to be a better YouTuber or to be more engaged or to do more stuff for the channel just because of the the nature of what's happening right now in the states with coronavirus and all that. It's it's been really really tough on me. I've been stress level has been a 9 out of 10 pretty much this entire time and sometimes all peaking at a 10. Um so yeah, I, I really want to push myself to be a better YouTuber. I want to be more engaged. I want to have more stuff available for you guys if you so choose. Because let's face it, YouTube is not monetizing any of these videos anymore. So if you want to support, you can either do Patreon. I have a direct link to um, a one-time uh, PayPal link if you guys want to donate a couple of bucks there. If you don't want to be a patron and just want to donate... Uh, super chats are always graciously appreciates, appreciates, appreciated. Um, and you know, buy merch. <laughs> I, I want you guys to get something tangible out of, you know, your, your donation. So if you guys really want to support me, buy a t-shirt or something. I have them as cheap as 15 bucks. Patrons have an extra, I think 15% off the merch store. And there's other stuff on there as well. Daily Vape TV is the link right down there in the description. But yeah, um, and also my various other social medias and, and, and stuff like that. I've been kind of itching to get back in Instagram. I've been kind of laying low for pretty much this whole year so far. And uh, I don't know, I want to get back into it. I've just been kind of, uh, I don't know, feeling this void. <sighs> we'll talk about that more later. But let's get into some shout outs. I wanted to, I, enough of the serious talk. I want to get into some shout outs. So first is Jenny Sin Designs. She was literally the first one here. Thank you for being here, Jenny. Uh, she is also the one who made my awesome little cartoon uh, person guy, Nick, cartoon Nick on my thumbnails. So thank you for that as well. Uh, Robert Darkings. Hey, says hi from the UK. We've got Stan Tenacious TX Vapes. What's up, Stan? We've got Redneck Vapor, Voodoo 1013. Uh, we have a J Jerry in chat as well. He's joining us as well from the UK. Uh, let's see, who didn't I get yet? Mark Hardy. Hello, how you doing? Good day. Uh, let's see, we've got a dire thing as well uh, from uh, dire things from the UK, right? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, who else? Phil Lee, another one from the UK. Man, you guys all are up late. <laughs> uh, Dakota Simon, hello, hello. Mowgli Vapes, one of my lovely patrons. Uh, Billy Nco, Erwin Kopecky, hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing today, this evening? Dire Things in the Midwest, okay. Dire Thing just shows up on all the UK streams. That's why I, I just assumed um but yeah thank you guys for being here i know for people in the states oh well i guess for the people in the states on the west coast it's not super late but it is a little bit later on in the evening to do a live stream um but yeah welcome everyone thanks for joining me we're going to be discussing this guy today this is the steam crave aromamizer is it called the aromamizer yeah it is steam crave aromamizer titan 
RDTA dual mesh deck. Now, I also have this, as you can see, on the water cooler mod that they made called the Titan as well. I've been using this for the past week or so pretty much exclusively. Uh, however, I also have this little guy, my partner in crime here, my little Gen Nano ride or die. Uh, those two things have basically been my daily setup. This more for on the go, this more for at the shop because I'm not just going to, you know, carry this around with me everywhere. You know, it's heavy. <laughs> I need a, a lanyard or something for that, but... Um, yeah, and the juices that I have, pretty much the same stuff I've been vaping on for a while. I need some new juice. Drop your suggestions in chat and in the comments. Juice head, blueberry lemon, uh, and some Vaptasia. Where is it? Vaptasia. Oh, lemonade. Not this one. Again, I, I grabbed the wrong one. But the, I had a sample pack of these Vaptasia lemonades, and they're really good. So I what felt like giving them a shot. Uh, the one I'm vaping currently is a... Um, pink lemonade flavor. Yeah. So, <clears throat> let's talk about... Oh, well, let me first address Stan. He says, you need a beard trim. No. You never... No. No. I just need some oil. When I get some oil, it'll be less frizzy, but it's really humid here in New England. Uh, it, I was expecting a downpour of rain, but we got a little sprinkle. So um, it's really humid here. It's really hot here. So my my beard's getting a little frizzy. It's it's not oiled today, so that's why. Shut up, Stan. Go go use your bib, all right? Uh, but uh, And I do check for beard split ends and all that too. So, you know, you got you to gotta go through it. Make sure you find the little knots and stuff. Uh, the mask that I wear all day at work usually causes a lot of little knots. So, got to just nip those in the bud and just uh, just snip the ends sometimes. But it's not a big deal. So, we're going to be talking about this guy today. The dual mesh deck. The series mesh deck, if you will, from Steam Crave. Big shout out to Steam Crave for giving me one of these for the purpose of doing this video. Uh, I've been using it, like I said, for the past week, almost exclusively, and I do like it. However, I feel like it's a bit of a misnomer. Now, granted, if you guys watched the video last week, I built this thing with the kind of backup stainless steel mesh strips that they provided, and they were fairly low resistance. So the overall resistance came to about a 0.3. Now this one jumps a little bit. Now, right now it's sitting at 0.32. I think we had it up to like 0.36 or somewhere around there. Uh, but it likes to kind of jump around a little bit. Um, personally, not a big fan of the Steam Crave mesh. I will repeat myself over and over again until they listen. Their mesh strips are really not that great. They're very, very flimsy. And I just don't think they're as good as others. Let's just face it. Let's just... Call a spade a spade and say that they're not great. Uh, just avoid them. So if you have some OFRF, ORFRF mesh strips or anything like that, I feel like you're going to be a little bit better off with this one. Um, but overall, the performance has been pretty damn good. Now let's just... I, I need a vape on this thing real quick. Oh, man. <coughs> Woo! It's almost too much. But I'm only va vaping this at 6 volts right now. Now, I tried this right off the rip when I pop, pop my batteries in here, put the tank on top, tried it at 8.4 volts. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! That's why I say it's a bit of a misnomer when they say it's a series deck, because if you tried that on a, this on a mechanical you would fry your lungs. I got a vicious dry hit. If you guys think normal mesh dry hits are bad, try dry hitting this guy, okay? Six volts or up. Ooh, that's a, that's a kick to the chest. Um, so yeah, bit of a misnomer calling it a series deck when I use the supplied 
coils or, or mesh strips in the box and I can't really get series performance out of it. However, it's just kind of like a higher than average build with higher than average volts for me. Now, it does show what wattage I'm vaping at, which is currently 112. So it's not really over the top when it comes to wattage, but that's actually a really damn good vape right where it's at right now, like six volts, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, 100 watts plus, okay, really good performance, but not quite series. Let's, let's just face it. It's not quite a series. But, yeah, I mean, as far as flavor is concerned, I'm getting really good flavor, and I can kind of attribute that to the chamber reducer that they also supply in the box, um, which is kind of interesting because essentially what they did is make it so that the airflow kind of is more concentrated and, and higher up for uh, the, the mesh strips. It's really cool how they engineered it, and I think it's... It's almost ingenious, but they kind of reduced the chamber a bit, warmed it up a little bit. It is a kind of warm vapor. It's not the traditional mesh, like cool vapor. Um, I have, I, I have no interest, let's say in f using this in any sort of capacity with temp control, no interest. So don't even ask me about that. I'm, I'm not going to use it in, in, on uh, temp control whatsoever. Just that, that sort of thing just is not my bag, I guess. Um, but the flavor, I, compared to even just a normal either mesh or even the best coils, some uh, for British Eyes only coils, I'm getting almost better flavor. Sorry, Ryan. Sorry if you're watching this. But I'm almost getting better flavor with the chamber reduced mesh strips than I did off of a set of really nice aliens. Now, that being said, I'm comparing this one to another build deck and another tank, etc. But uh, it's really the only comparison that I have at the moment um, with the same exact e-liquid. I haven't used this e-liquid, this is exact e-liquid on another setup to compare it to, but as far as my frame of reference for this specific build device, etc., comparing it to something similar or something else, it would be the Aromamizer Plus V2. And I have a set of for British Eyes coils in there, and they're really, really good. But for some reason, maybe it's because I have the tall tank on there, and like a lot of people have discussed on their reviews, the taller the tank, the less actual flavor you're getting. Um, but yeah, maybe it's just that. It could be, probably. If I drop that chamber down, I might be able to get some better flavor from the Aromamizer V2. But yeah, it's ne that's neither here nor there. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys what's in the box and what this thing actually looks like. So let's very quickly go down to the close-up view and we'll take a better look at this thing. Uh, yeah. So let's do that. Ready? Here we go. Ta-da! Here we are in the close-ups. Let's move the mic. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So here is the actual package that this thing came in. And uh, pretty basic, pretty plain, pretty much like everything else they come out with. Plain black box, Aromamizer Titan Dual Series Mesh Deck. Mm, same thing on this side. And that's pretty much it. There's like a little sticker thing here. It says some stuff on it. Pretty sure that none of that makes any difference or makes any sense to anybody. And boop, you get... Make sure you got it the right way around because all the stuff is going to fall out otherwise. Oh, oh, oh. So you do get a little fold-out thing. I wouldn't even call it a manual. It's a quick start guide, basically. It's just kind of like, hey, here's how you do it. Should be fairly obvious for anyone that's built anything previously. There's really nothing new here that, that's mind-blowing. Um, and I really never even took a look at it, to be honest with you, because I just kind of built it up straight away. They give you some cotton shoelace things with the little aglets on the end. They give you a, a fairly cool little tool here with a, a cutout, so you can kind of slide it onto the deck and then kind of pull up a little bit. Uh, this is where the deck was. This is where the chamber reducer was. 
And then they give you some spare parts. Yes, you guys have never seen a bag of spare parts on this channel. So it's all new to you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, they also give you some mesh strips. However, I would avoid them like the plague. Avoid them like coronavirus. Avoid them like COVID-19 because I think they're, they're not good. Um, Steam Crave, if you watch this video, please get a better mesh manufacturer. Please partner with someone. I don't care what you do, but the mesh strips that you supplied are not very good. And I will show you the actual deck itself if you didn't watch last week's stream. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you do anything, close that. I, I don't know if that makes a difference because I'm still going to take off this whole bottom section. I think I could do this without dumping the juice anywhere. He said before he dumps the juice everywhere. Let's find out together. Okay. Easy now. Okay. You know what I didn't get? A vapor towel. Hmm. Hmm. Well, oh well, there we go. So let's just real quick try to get the focus working here. Do, 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 do. One second, bear with me guys. Boop. All right, so that should be pretty good and we'll do that as well. So this is the dual series mesh deck. And as you can see, oh, let me move this out of the way. Okay. So as you can see, it's got these big block post things on here. That's basically your chamber reducer. And you can see the two mesh strips. It's getting a little bit darker in the middle of the strips, but that's kind of to be expected after a solid week's worth of vaping on it. You can see the airflow holes coming in on the sides, kind of directing and uh, smoothing out that airflow a bit from the outside. There you go. And it kind of just drapes over the deck right there. And this whole section pops off and then you can have access to the clamps in the side. Now, uh, I'm not gonna be showing you the actual design of the deck itself. It's actually in the thumbnail of this, this video. Uh, it's literally just a positive and negative, hold on, positive and negative on one side. Let's just use this for a frame of reference. Positive and negative on one side and then a neutral post over here. So the neutral post is completely isolated, surrounded by insulator, which means it doesn't have any electrical connection whatsoever. So basically your, uh, your electricity is going to go from positive over over and then to negative and what this does is it adds the resistance of both of those strips rather than dividing them in half like you would on a standard dual coil so instead of being 0.07 which is normally what you'd get with dual mesh strips now you have a 0.3 uh, so it's a really interesting concept and I actually really really like that concept unfortunately there's no there's no good way to do it and I'm sure Stan's probably going to prove me wrong somehow here, but there's really no good way to do it with a smaller deck. This deck itself, I believe, is around 28 millimeters in diameter, so it's a pretty huge freaking build deck. I'm going to put this back now. You guys can watch me uh, struggle with this as I try to talk here. But uh, th there's really no good way to make a series mesh deck that's smaller. Uh, oh yeah, got it. Okay, and I'm now covered in e-liquid. Wonderful. And there we go. Hopefully that dropped into place correctly. And I didn't dump juice. Yeah, no, no juice on the table. Um, but, but there's really no way to make it like 25 millimeters. I would love a 25 millimeter dual mesh deck especially in this configuration. I think this configuration is great. Uh, oh my God, I'm covered. Let's find something, old t-shirt, something, anything that I can wipe my hands on. One second. 
It's all right. It's laundry day anyways. All right. So I th hope that went in properly. Otherwise, this is going to be a big mess. Well, it looks right. It looks right to me. Let's just go ahead and screw it back on the mod. If it dumps its juice tomorrow, we'll know why. But that's pretty much it for the close-ups. There's nothing special about this Titan tank whatsoever. It's just the standard giganto, what is it, 40 millimeter uh, Titan RDTA from Steam Crave. So let's go back up to the main screen. Boo, whoop, and we'll move the mic back. Boop, and relax a little bit as we talk about this some more. And we'll get to, I don't know if you guys saw that in the shot, but I have some fate mail to take a look at too. Woohoo! So, what time is it? Oh, I have a watch on. Great. Top of the hour. Perfect. We got just about half the show left to discuss this guy. So, pretty much giving you guys my thoughts on it. Let's have a quick vape on the thing. It is nice. It is very nice. Now, <clears throat> let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to try to quickly go through chat here. This motherfucker asks, is there going to be a Ragnar dual series deck down the road? I would like to see them do that, but like I said, it's very difficult to cram that into a smaller space. You you need to separate the two strips of mesh. So there's that. You need to completely isolate that neutral post. So there's that. You need to have room for, for uh, I was going to say peak, but that's just a brand of insulator. You need to have room for that insulator to go all the way around that. And that's, you know, millimeters. It's going to cost you millimeters of material. And again, I'm sure Stan could probably dream something up, but uh, I don't really see a way that they could cram a dual dual series mesh or even a dual mesh even into a smaller size because the Ragnar is a little bit smaller. So I believe that one is what, 24, 25 millimeters, don't quote me. <laughs> I know all the fanboys are gonna jump down my throat on that one, um, but yeah. As far as a piece of hardware goes, it's functional. It works. It has good flavor, very smooth airflow. Uh, it works great even on higher uh, wattages, higher voltages, but don't expect to do 200 watts. Now, like I said in the previous video, I will be trying this at uh, or with the OFRF, or FRF, as I like to say, um, mesh strips so stay tuned for that that's going to be probably a little down the road in the future um, because as far as I'm concerned I have to move on I have to keep trying new stuff to keep up with my queue here so uh, I do have to try the standard mesh deck with the Ragnar and the Squonk backpack so that's coming up very soon as well um, but everything is kind of like piggybacking, you know, for lack of a better term, on each other. So you got the, you know, this new deck on the Titan, which was like over a year old now at this point. Now you have the uh, the Ragnar with the Hadron 220, and now you have a backpack. So that's kind of two videos there. They're getting a whole hell of a lot of content. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to what people are posting recently, but there's been a lot of Steam Crave stuff floating around. Uh, but some of, some of the brands still aren't back to work yet. Um, it's just kind of going to be interesting to see the progression of when new products come out because there just hasn't been a whole lot. You know, there was a whole dead zone for about three, four months there um, because China wasn't back to work yet. And as soon as they came back to work, they started making new products and they ha they had these all designed months in advance, and they were they were planned out and all that stuff. So it's just kind of like moved everything down a little bit. That's all. 
But other than that, um, I have a bunch of stuff to look at pretty soon. Uh, mesh deck to look at. I've got the Vapresso stuff. I've got the Berserker to take a look at. And now I have Vape Mail. So we'll see what we get here. Let's go ahead and open up some Vape Mail. Mowgli says it's 23. Is it 23? Fair enough. I'll, I'm, I'll take your word for it. So I have here the lovely DHL bag, which you know what that means. Vape mail. And I have the unboxing knife. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. <laughs> oh! I, I, it came with an invoice. I literally just... Took it out and threw it because I didn't want to take a. I didn't want to see what's in here. Yeah, that's it. It is from Vandy Vape. Now, what could have came out from Vandy Vape? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Do some surgery. I wish they packed these better. These boxes are very. Flimsy. <laughs> well, what do we have here? It is. What is this? Okay. It is the Kylan M A I O. Now, I I unboxed the the last thing a little early and showed it off a little too early. I got an email that says don't show it off. Blah blah blah. So. I'm, I'm going to keep this a little bit away from the camera, but I'll describe it. How about that? I haven't got an email from Vandy Vape about this because they just send me stuff and don't say anything about it. But hey, you know what? I'm, I'm all for that rather than getting a bunch of uh, instructions about what I need to talk about and all that. Oh, this is different. Very different. From the Kylan series, it's a uh, it's an all-in-one. It's an all-in-one Mod Pod thing. Very interesting. Okay, so it's got like a 510 drip tip going on. Mm -hmm. I can't show it off. I'm not going to show it off until I know that it's okay. Oh, the battery door was on upside down. Oh, good thing it you can flip it. Yeah, battery door you could completely just flip, but it was on upside down. Waterproof PCBA. Ooh, <laughs> whoa. So you can get this thing wet. Interesting. Now the top looks like a little mini RDA. Here I go fiddling with it. Uh, reviews for that Kylan is, they're already released. That's interesting. You know, I always find it inter interesting when other reviewers, uh, put their, their stuff out because half the time I don't even get it in before they get it reviewed and they send them out pretty much at the same time. But I'll leave that there. It's just kind of a little potty thing. Can't figure out how to get in there or how it works. Eh? Oh, 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 <laughs> I am intrigued. Uh, so it has a little, looks like a clamp system. I'm assuming that's for mesh. And then it has a little, is it push-pull? Yep. Little push-pull coil system in here. I'm not sure if they engineered their own coils or they borrowed someone else's. That's a really weird looking one. I haven't seen that before. So they might have actually just made their own. That's pretty cool. All these AIO things <clears throat> are definitely cool. But they're they're just kind of advancing the same theme, essentially. They're, they're just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again with uh, a little bit different look. I don't know what this is for. This is kind of weird. I'm just going to have to have a, a look around off camera. Because I'm going to say something dumb if I keep going. But it does have a rebuildable deck in the package. 
the uh, unit itself reminds me a lot of the drag mod, the actual like full size drag mod, because on one side it says Kylan and the, the battery door. No rattle! A little, I mean, if you would have to struggle to uh, to get that one to to rattle, and you would really have to be nitpicky. <clears throat> Clicky button, very nice, very nice. Uh, but yeah, it's got this thing on the other side. So, ta-da! There it is from the outside. Just in case, I'm not going to show it off, but. That's interesting. Uh, we'll be building that after the Berserker. I have to do the Berserker first, but mesh. Mesh in an AIO. That's pretty neat. I'm definitely going to have to mess around with this pretty soon. And it takes an 18650. But, and you get a whole bunch of stuff in the box. It looks like steel wires, triple fuse, Clapton... Uh, dual coil, Nichrome 80 dual, dual M coil, A1 M coil, M wire rod. Holy crap, you get a whole bunch of stuff in this kit. So that is what I got for this week's Fate Mail. You'll be seeing a video on that in the future. Uh, but first, I got to get to the Berserker. I got to do it. Got to do that mouth to lung tank. I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it because it looks very, very interesting. Uh, even though I really don't do mouth to lung, um, but I'll, I'll be checking it out. Now, <clears throat> I want to talk to you guys. Is there anything you guys want to know? Is there anything you guys want to discuss? I am interested in what you guys, what's on your guys' mind right now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Does anyone? You guys, uh, I love the camaraderie in chat because you guys can kind of talk amongst each other as I'm rambling on here. But I find that uh, really, really cool. Let's see. Anyone? It's been reviewed. Yeah, everyone says it's been reviewed. I don't know how it's been reviewed. How are you going to get proper testing of, you know, a week or two in when uh, you just got the damn product. <laughs> I can't believe there's reviews for it. Tony B, of course Tony B. Tony B probably gets them a little even earlier than everyone else just because, you know, it's Tony B. But I can't imagine. I, I know for a fact that I get stuff on the same day as some of the other reviewers, even some of the, the higher tier reviewers and all that. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I said Kylan M A I O Bogan Mike Vapes already have it out. So I'd imagine it's okay. Yeah. But either way, it, there's really not much to show. I mean, you can't really, I'm not going down to the close ups or anything right now. So you'll have to wait for that. I got to start getting these reviews out a lot faster though. I always get behind in my queue and end up reviewing something that's like a month old and everyone's like, oh, that's old news and blah, blah, blah. How long? I literally got it in yesterday. I literally got it done yesterday. Um, maybe they just send me stuff last. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm last on the list. They don't even bother sending me an email. They're just like, here, if you want to review it, review it. We don't care about you. You have a Tiny little channel. But I like my little community. I like my my friends in chat here. Everyone that's watching this video after the fact. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Now, we have 20 minutes to discuss things. I didn't have a beer pairing or anything prepared for today. Uh, I kind of expected to, to ramble about this thing a little bit more, but there's really nothing much else to say. I hate to hate to say it like that, but kind of uh, 
got my feelings out about it really quick. <laughs> Well, it's DHL, so typically I get stuff pretty quickly. I mean, I get the, the little alert notification. It's like, hey, you're going to get something from DHL. And my uh, the DHL driver around here knows me, luckily. Like, he knows, like, because the first few times like, he would knock and I'd come to the door and all that. And uh, then I, I started actually using the, the thing that said, like, do you want them to just leave it without a signature? Yes, please. And then they just, now they just throw it on my, my uh, front porch. <laughs> Robert Darkings says, any thoughts on Tony B's Pulse V2? Uh, I saw, I saw it today. I saw the pictures of it and I don't know. I think we should move past the silicone bottle where you actually have to physically squish the thing for squonking. I am all of the opinion, all of the opinion, all about the pump squonkers. That is way more my thing than having to squeeze the bottle because let's face it, a lot of those bottles are very cheap. And if the cap moves or anything like that, if the threads kind of like move around because they're silicone threads, if they move and it pops the top off, it can leak, it can, it's not, not great. So I'm not all big on the standard traditional squonkers. I much prefer a pump squonk like the Delta mod. Um, and I really feel like that's kind of how, how you should squonk. I know I'm going to be very much in the minority here, but please feel free to berate me in chat as you will. But I really feel like the pump squonks are just more mechanical and clean. Uh, I love the Delta because it has that no mess filling method where it has that plastic kind of cup that comes in and out. So you can clean it if you want to. You just clip it in and then close the lid and even just with the lid on it and everything, the battery door, you could push your bottle against it, squeeze, and fill up your entire chamber, give it a couple of pumps, and then you're off and vaping. It kind of reminds me, I feel like picking up that, uh, picking up the Delta Mod again and using it, but I, I keep getting distracted. I get distracted with this stuff, and that that's what delays my videos. <laughs> Yes, I agree, Phil. Phil says pumping is not the same. No suck back. And that's what she said. But uh, he says it's a setback. I agree to a certain extent. Now, one thing is sometimes, you know, you want it to stay on your cotton a little bit longer before it drains it all back into the bottle, um, especially when it's fresh cotton that has just been like kind of you dump a little bit on top but you really want a good saturation and then it just goes and sucks all the juice back eh kind of uh not my thing but in combination with a leak proof we'll call it rda something with higher up airflow that is not necessarily a bad thing because it's not going to just dump out the sides uh, I feel like there was one that I just reviewed recently, which was, well, I mean, you could talk about like the dead rabbit and things like that. Definitely a good combination with a pump squonker. Uh, they did have the, they came out with a mesh RDA themselves that came with the, the, the kit. I forget what it's called, to be honest with you. Uh, but the, the one that came with the Delta kit was actually pretty decent. Uh, there's also the, Mesh 2 RDA from Vandy Vape. That's pretty good, if I do remember correctly. I think it has higher up airflow. I'm going to have to double check on that because now I'm kind of curious and I know I have the rainbow one and it's going to match my Delta pretty good, so I might have to set that up, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not going to delay the videos, I swear. But I, I really want to set that up now just because I'm very curious and I miss that Delta mod, even though it was a single 21700, that doesn't bother me. Um, it was a damn good 
and especially in combination with a mesh RDA. That was just, oh, good planning on their part. Single single uh, battery mods with mesh, it's not as taxing. You don't have a very high mass uh, with your build, so it's less taxing on your battery. And the battery will last you all day at like 50 to 60 watts-ish. Um, I usually just keep my bottle compressed when I have fresh wicks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of like that kind of, yeah, okay, I can see your point. But that's why everyone's a little bit different. You know, I just like the no thinking about it, no wasting anything. It's always just, you know, push the button, fill your chamber. Done. Um... You know the mechanism is cheaply made, and when it breaks, you are done. You could say that the same thing about the cheap squonk bottles. I've had cheap silicone squonky bottles in cheaply made Chinese mods do that to me, and I always end up with a little layer of juice on the bottom of my like battery um, connection, and that's not cool, because then it's just super messy. Uh, it's kind of one reason I didn't... I stopped using my TS. I have the uh, Defiant Designs TS and just never really did it for me. One, I feel like I had a lot of voltage loss and you need to get that silver upgrade kit. But the other thing was it just got to be a little messy, especially since the bottle was not silicone and it was plastic and that made things even worse. Silicone bottles, definitely better than plastic bottles, but at the end of the day, I still prefer a pump squonker. I'm going to stick with my guns. I will die on this hill. Um, it's just me. You know, everyone's different. That's the best part about vaping is everyone's different. Everyone's going to have little difference in, in, in preference and everything like that. And that's one thing that makes the, you know, vape stew and the vape stew crew great is we all get together and we basically just have just hours and hours of discussion time for everything, you know, flavors and uh, different types of vaping and mods and coils and cotton and everything. There's so much different discussion going on at all hours of the day and night that you can kind of just jump in and then you just put your two cents into the conversation and, you know, it, it's kind of like you're on an episode of Vapes Do. Um, so... Single 21700 is pretty much all I use, and again, I only use single coil addies. That's another thing I've been preaching for a very long time, uh, is single battery mod, single coil. You really can't go wrong with that formula. Dual battery, dual coil, or more. Um, now, granted, obviously, there's outliers in that situation, but I feel like as kind of a rule of thumb there, that works. Uh, mesh, you can use anything. You can use almost anything. Single 18650, no problem. Single 20, 2700, 21700, no problem. You're going to get better battery life out of a single versus a dual if you have a single battery. Um, I do want to get, you know what I forgot to get last time was some better, I, I bought a bunch of 18650s because I was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to use all my 18650 mods again and then I used them for a few weeks and then I stopped but uh, it did come in handy because I have four of my brand new 18650s in here and lovely brand new VTC 5As they are absolutely kicking And look at that, guys. We've, we've made it almost the entire show without a dropped frame, without a connection interruption. Now I'm going to jinx the crap out of myself. But can you believe it? The Internet is solved and fixed. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to get into, like, the serious stuff again. But I wanted to kind of just outline the, the kind of downward slope of the channel. I know, I know you guys miss the edited videos. And I feel like eventually we'll get back to that point. But for now, live content is way, way easier for me. Uh, I can get 
more content out easier by doing it live and I could do it in a way that I can interact with you guys. So it's kind of like two birds, one stone there. Um, it frees up more time for me to do other stuff as well. And as we are kind of like <sighs> reaching a point now where I've kind of like come to terms with the channel. Like, I know I'm not going to be the, the next Grim Green or Zophie or Mike Vapes or Bogan or any of those guys. I know I'm not going to be there. That was, you know, the goal. That was the aspiration. And it still kind of is. You know, I would love to have over 100,000 subscribers. But I just don't see that happening within the next two years, we'll say. Channel's still slowly, slowly growing. And I know if I brought back Fresh Build Friday, that would change. But Fresh Build Friday, as we know it, I've said this a million times, is, is going to be done. It, I'm just going to leave it there. There's really no sense in bringing something back that I'm not passionate about anymore. I just lost my passion for building. I am, hit the, the peak of my skill level, and I have no desire to try to push myself to be better at building because in my opinion i i just i don't know i i feel like fuse claptons are the best coils out there prove me wrong uh and i also feel like i don't really want to build anything more intricate and artsy because it's just i'm not into it some people are into that some people aren't again all different facets of vaping um i really like the idea of doing a Fresh Build Friday Live where I bring other builders on that have way more skill than me so that they can discuss their experimentation with coils, their building experience, some of their most triumphant moments, maybe grab a couple of uh, their build shots and show them off and, you know, kind of kind of help promote them as well. Maybe even get some of the lesser known Instagram builders and, and people in the community and kind of have them on to boost them up a little bit because there's so many talented folks out there and I want to show them off because I I shouldn't be the guy to go to for building these elaborate coils. I, I always kind of go, oh, well, Blue-Eyed Goon invented that and, you know, Twisted Mess has invented that and, you know, all these guys have so much uh, on their, you know, trophy shelf and... What do I have? You know, I, I I tried messing around with some mesh wire once. That's pretty much what I have. But uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But I really feel like now it's the time to not necessarily pass, pass the torch, but share the torch, if you will. I want to have a, a, a format where you can just have builders be themselves and you know, we don't even have to discuss building the whole time. It might end up being a, a, you know, kind of a Joe Rogan podcast sort of thing where you just talk about random stuff. And I want to get to know the builder themselves rather than just seeing them for, for their work. You know, I want to have like a multifaceted sort of thing. Um, big, big, big inspiration from Black Cat Whiteface here. And I really do want to have him on my channel as well uh, because he's awesome and he's a great guy, super nice. And just kind of see where that goes. And if that's going to happen, it's going to happen on Friday evenings before the green room. Um, and also we, we got together with Stan and, and crew and kind of all agreed that we should all be boosting each other up. We need to help out our community. Like we created, uh, well, okay, let me rephrase. Stan brought me on to Vapes Do the for like the second or third week that they were on. I expected to be a guest, not ever expecting this to transform into what it has today. But here we are, you know, a couple of years later and a few thousand people in the Discord later, we made ourselves a little community and that community has sprouted other little communities, which is amazing. I love that. So <clears throat> now it's time to kind of bring those people back in and support them, you know, cause I wouldn't know people like 
Vapor Swagons. I wouldn't know people like Demo. I wouldn't know people like F Ryan uh, for British Eyes Only and a whole bunch of other folks if it weren't for Vape Stew. And I really have that to thank for who I am and what I do today. So I, I really want to support them in their projects as well. And there's so much going on. There's lots of live content. That's pretty much the state of the vape YouTube scene right now. And I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I love that there's almost 24 seven live shows going on. It feels like uh, everywhere in the world, you know, you got all the guys from Australia killing it, Legion vapes, um, and uh, Adam from Breeze Tones, he's making coils. Definitely want to get him on the show at some point, Some the, the fresh, fresh Build Friday or whatever. Uh, Phil Lee actually says, what about making it Fresh Builder Friday? That's an interesting concept. I'm not sure if it would catch on. I would have to probably modify the Fresh Build Friday logo and kind of like, eh. Um, but that's an interesting concept. I really like that idea. We might have to make that happen. Thank you for that, Phil. Um, so that's kind of basically where where I see the channel going. As far as I, I, I'm thinking right now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That would be ideal. Uh, Fridays still aren't quite ready. Now, that being said, I did just purchase a whole bunch of Streamlabs templates so I can have like little stuff pop up on the screen and things like that. Uh, there's, I still have a ways to go. Now I'm using a webcam right now. I have a really good microphone I'm fairly happy with, but I really could use a better setup for this, basically. I, I would love to have what Stan and Swaggins have. They have the, the little DSLR cameras hooked up and everything, which would be awesome. But I'm not quite there yet. And part of the thing that's gonna be helping me to get to that goal is going to be funding because as of right now, I can't afford to have that set up. I have a good PC, I have good enough webcam, good enough lighting, nice mic, but I'm not quite at the level where I wanna be, which is kind of part of the reason I say I'm going to set myself some goals on Patreon. Um, and that's where, we're, we're, if you wanna check that out, you can check that out. It, it, I'll, I'll be doing it over the course of the next week or so. Uh, I'll also be tweaking the stream within a, a week or so. So you might see some more stuff. I might even change the background image on my channel and stuff like that because it's it's getting old. It's getting tired. It's a few years old now and it just needs a facelift. And I feel like if I give myself a facelift overall for the channel, then I will kind of get the creative juices flowing. I've just been in such a slump lately and I've been really just kind of down in the dumps over just everything, COVID and work situation, fate bans and everything going on right now in the world. is It's just so, so negative and there's just so much negative energy. I really wanted to just kind of light a fire under my ass and then get moving. So part of the reason that that's inspiring me is the patrons. They're amazing. I meet with them every week and we do a little hangout session on zoom we have a drink coffee together we discuss things we sometimes will play video games and stuff like that and we kind of brainstorm and collectively we come up with ideas for the channel and i, I really like that so um lots of things going on like i said new merch happening channel facelift complete patreon overhaul uh, more videos per week uh, i'm not going to be doing a video this monday because i'm doing uh, family night. So I'm sorry. I know I'm not, not quite getting ready to go for this, but, uh, it's most likely going to end up being Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams. Uh, we're, we're going to do like kind of a mid afternoon Monday stream. We're going to do a nighttime Wednesday stream and kind of a after dinner sort of, uh, Friday stream, which would be like the, the builder feature. Uh, the Friday stream is going to be one that features guests. Monday, it's kind of anything goes. Um, I'm going to have to come up with new names for some of these series, but we'll get there. You know, it's it's a work in progress. I was this close to giving up on this channel and moving on to something else. But it kind of, when I, when I got the internet working, uh, it just 
took so much like stress off of my shoulders that um, I felt reinvigorated. And I have I, I want to just give new life to this channel and, and make it something that it really should have been a long time ago. But like I said, it's it's a work in progress. We're going to keep chipping away at things. You're going to start seeing some changes. Don't get freaked out. It's all planned out. Um, and it's all in part due to the patrons and everyone that's been supporting me over the years. So big thank you to all of you for watching. I'm going to end it here, guys. We're going to reconvene on my Twitch channel, Slightly Buzzed. If you want to watch me play some Warzone, uh, I'm going to be playing with a few friends of mine and hopefully getting a dub or two. That would be awesome. Crim Green is here. Don't leave, Nick. We need you, buddy. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. And, you know, part of the reason that I I really didn't give up was, uh, you know, I, I actually texted Nick a, a few weeks ago, you know, just seeing him post that picture of the old school vape gear. Man, it brought back so many memories, and I'm just like, man, I can't give up on this. This is awesome. So... Thank you, Nick, for that. Thank you for, like, that little glimmer of hope as well. Um, oh, man, I'm getting, like, emotional over here. Can't do that. <laughs> but um, I'd love to have Nick on here as well. Definitely want to do, like, a, a beer stream or something. Because, you know, we're demonetized anyways, so why not just have a beer together on Zoom or something? Um... Big shout out. Uh, let's do a quick, couple quick shout outs uh, over the past couple days, I guess. Let's see. Kuba Drizmala, thank you for subscribing. Speak Life Garden Homestead and Permaculture, that's an interesting channel name. Thank you for subscribing. Wei Gang Lee, thank you, thank you. Uh, we've got Alan Boucher, Deja J. Ortiz Velez, I hope I pronounced that all correctly. Uh, we've got Joey Pilgrim here as well, uh, Gav Bray, uh, Anthony Lewis, or Luis, and Josh, I, nope, that's Joey Gashi, maybe? Maybe that's how you pronounce that, as well as Ronnie Cargnin, oh, I'm going to mess this up, Cargania, ooh, I hope I pronounced that right, uh, but yeah, those are all my subscribers over the past week. Thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching this stream. Thank you for watching the replay if you're watching this in the future. You guys are amazing. New stuff is coming. Change is coming soon. Join me on Twitch in a little bit if you guys want to have a laugh when I die at playing Warzone. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Slightly Buzz. Link's right down there. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And as always, vape on.